it's okay if this part isn't perfect because it adds a charming handmade quality to it. Howdy campers and crafters, I'm Gunnarola and you're watching Handmade Tested, the series where we put past handmade projects to the test. Today, we're cheering on our favorite team with a DIY silk screen. Wish me luck. Let's get testing. I'm just gonna cut off the edge here, the end, uh, just enough that you can wrap it around your embroidery hoop. So we'll take the inner hoop and we'll put some pants on it. Wow, this stuff is actually pretty strong. We'll put this around and tighten it up. Looks good. We're just gonna cut off the excess here now. We don't need all this extra. Yeah, because you only want one layer of pantyhose. Correct. Now we gotta get rid of a layer. And I guess I'll do that right here. Okay. It's working. We got a screen. So we found this font we love and we printed out NYC. And we're gonna be making a pennant an ode to the city we live in. All right, so I figured this was an opportunity to get some branding in. I'm gonna make a pennant that says Rolla. And at some point, I'll make one that says Gunna. Gunna Rolla. So the next step is to trace that onto our pantyhose. Let's trace. This has to be done very delicately because the pantyhose is moving quite a bit. Kind of looks like an R. You know what, I think it's okay if this part isn't perfect, because it adds a charming handmade quality to it. Okay, done-ish. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, not bad. I don't know if you can see that. It actually looks quite good. Now we're gonna block out all this extra area using a decoupage medium. We're gonna turn it around to the back side and put decoupage medium on the back here. All right, what is this stuff? Am I supposed to shake it? Let's just do a little bit of this, just in case. So we'll just go around the letters. This is gonna take a while. We have an R. I probably should have picked a word with less letters in it. All right, now we got, oh no, my pantyhose. What's going on there? Hopefully that won't be an issue. All right, aside from the tear and the pantyhose, um, it looks pretty good. A lot of the decoupage medium seems to have leaked through to the bottom. I feel like we're gonna need another coat here. Just to make sure there are no holes where paint could come through where it's not supposed to. Let's just fill in all these holes. Panty holes. That was really bad. I think we're okay. So for our pennants, we decided to use an old cork board we had that we really never used. So we are going to cut it into a triangle. All right, can't find my tape, so we're just gonna eyeball this. Famous last words. Ooh, that's not straight at all. Oh dear, okay, let's go. To the edge. I mean, it'll do. Is this gonna fit the word though? We should be okay, right? So you're gonna to wanna to put your acrylic paint right on the top of your image, but make sure it's on the uh, decoupage medium so it doesn't soak through. All right, so our decoupage medium glue sealant stuff has pretty much dried, but I have a bit of a concern. The hole that I have here is only getting bigger, which means that time is of the essence. So let's get paint. So we're gonna start with a layer of blue. Ooh and the Crafty Lumberjacks recommended using some pretty thick paint. I think that's too much already. All right, let's delicately apply this paint. Ooh, I may not have put enough to cover the letters, so we're just gonna go over a few times. All right, paint has been applied. Let's see if that worked. Uh, the font looks a little bolder than I remember. And uh, you can clearly see where I ran out of paint. But maybe we can save this with another layer. It's now time to add our top coat of white. 
So we're just lining it up so the blue creates a shadow for the white. Let's say it goes about there. And now for our coat of white. We'll make sure to get enough paint this time to cover all the letters. Okay, I think we've covered everything. My fear is that the letters aren't all covered enough. All right, let's see if that worked. The screen is off and it's not bad. You can kind of make out what it says. You can see an R, an O, two L's. This could be an A. I do really like the effect of the two layers. Let's let that dry and finish this up. And you can hold this in place, but we actually are gonna be using tacks just as like a deco decorative embellishment. Okay, there it is. Go team, go. So some things I learned from this project. Number one, if you can, use a higher quality nylon. Number two, uh, if you're gonna go for a word, maybe space out the letters a bit more because as you can see here, everything just started to clump together. And uh, you know, it's mostly legible, but maybe I just think that because I know what it's supposed to say. And number three, just make sure you give everything enough time to dry. So how do you think I did? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time. Stay crafty.